All right. Well, hey, hey, it's Rob, and uh, welcome to the hippest area in all of Atlanta. This is Little Five Points, and let me tell you a little bit about Little Five Points. So, Little Five Points, Wikipedia says, and, you know, you could probably read this yourself, uh, also called L5P, Little Five, or LFP, Whatever you like. Uh, it's a district on the east side of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, in the United States, you probably knew that part. Uh, a couple miles east of downtown, established in the early 20th century as the commercial district for the adjacent Inman Park and Candler Park neighborhoods. And it has since become famous for the art, <laughs> the alternative. Well, hey, maybe that's something they can call it. The alternative culture it brings to Atlanta. It's been described as Atlanta's version of hate Ashbury, a melting pot of subcultures and the Bohemian center of the Southern United States. Well, how about that? Look at that. There's a band loading in right back there as we speak. I wonder who it is. Anyway, so it's good to document these things and I'm doing that on September 21st. Uh, 2022, and uh, it's a nice, warm, <laughs> early uh, winter, late fall day already, and uh, it's about 90 degrees out here, so uh, how do you like them apples? Anyway, lots of urban art, as you can see, murals, things painted all over the place in little five points, but like I'm saying, it's good to document these places because... They are constantly under danger of being encroached by gentrification and the cool buildings get knocked down and the cool businesses move. Some are even sketchier <laughs> and, uh, you know, they put in a bunch of condos or, uh, you know, Starbucks coffee shops or what have you. So uh, we're just going to walk up and down here, little five points. We're right here. Uh, this is called Seven Stages right here couple theaters right next to each other and uh, the one behind it where the band is loading in I'm not sure who's playing there tonight like I said but uh, they are playing at the Variety Theater which clearly is an Art Deco theater down here been here for many a year Hey, hey, girls with guitars. I'm all for that. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of the end of the road here, and that's where we're starting. At the end of the road, Euclid Avenue, I believe. So we'll spin around and come on back up. I kind of feel weird talking to myself in this neighborhood, except a lot of people talk to themselves in this neighborhood. So I'm really not uh, all that much out of place. Coming back up the road here. If you're looking for a place to park, the lot I'm in now is right next to Arden's Gardens, where you can get some delicious fruit smoothies. And if you're looking, like I said, for somewhere to park down here, you're going to park right here next to Ragorama. And uh, not sure what they have in there, but it's some sort of clothing store, I'm sure. Uh-oh, copyrighted music. Let's walk fast. And uh, here's a good old Arden's Garden. Good health for all. And another cool mural over here at the edge of this parking lot, which is where we park today. And back up the road we go. Not sure why these businesses are painted black, but they're empty, so maybe that's the reason. Across the street, another business painted black. Maybe they saw a red door and they thought they painted black. All right, uh, coming to one of the many record stores in 
little five points. This is Seoul Village, which is, like the label says, a great place to buy soul music, R&B, stuff from the 60s and 70s. I have bought many a CD there in my time here in Atlanta. And uh, like I said, one of a few record stores you're gonna run into. Here's a bit more street art for you. And on this side as well, it's kind of all over the place down here. Once again, we'll walk quickly past any copyrighted music that's going to give me trouble. And Outpost Goods, vintage clothing right here. The House of Stash, fashion. Lots of places, you know, I wouldn't have any reason to shop in, but uh, it's good for you to know that they're here, I guess. And we're going to swing around back to Criminal Records, my favorite store down here, in just a bit. We'll make the loop. So Little Five Points is called that because it is the intersection here of Moreland Avenue and what we've been walking on, Euclid Avenue. And there was an additional street that cut through, but that street has been turned into a walkway and we'll walk through it right now. But it's no longer a street, so really it's more like little four points, I guess. Uh, can I cross here at my peril? No, I cannot. So here we are. Maybe I can sneak across here after. We'll find out. If not, you can take a scan at the main drag here and businesses along the way that we will pass by on our way back. Can I do it? Let's see. Uh, what the hell? Nothing else will get me being hit by a car on film. It'll be fabulous for my YouTube views. They'll shoot right through the roof as I die laying in the street and bleeding out. All right, so it's really kind of an L-shaped neighborhood. You've got uh, the businesses up along Moreland here, the businesses down on Euclid Avenue, and that's kind of the main uh, thrust here of little five points, although it does spread out a bit as you go along, as these neighborhoods do. Indeed, pray for ATL. Couldn't hurt, right? All right. Here's the little five corner tavern. Nice little outdoor spot here to have something to eat. I may actually do that. I believe this is the fifth street here which has kind of turned into a walkway and no longer intersects, but you can kind of use your imagination and see where it used to be, a clothing warehouse right here. I don't ever really go across the street to these businesses, but there's a few more over there to look at. As we're coming down the avenue, How you doing? All right. Not right now. I'm making a video for my YouTube channel. All right. Record store number two. This is Wax and Facts here. And that's your more traditional vinyl store where you would find a wide variety of jazz, classical, rock, of course, all sorts of stuff. And now we are passing by pretty much the landmark down here of Little Five Points, which is the Vortex. And it literally is in the middle of the Vortex. Let's see, can we get a nice shot here? All right, I'm back. So the Vortex Bar and Grill is a place where you can get a giant hamburger that will literally kill you. I think it's called like a heart attack on a bun. But the Vortex is almost famous, uh, almost, it is also famous, almost famous is another movie. Uh, it's also famous because it is a comedy shop. You can see comedians here on a regular basis and they've got a little room in the back where they do comedy. And there are two locations for the Vortex that I'm aware of. 
one of them right across, I think, or down by the Fox Theater, and this one. I remember somebody got murdered right here a couple of years ago, so we'll take care and look around, make sure we don't see anybody who looks particularly dangerous, because you never know. Uh, back here in the alley behind this building here. Hey, hey! Uh, this is the Beats Lab, which is a little shop where you can buy turntables and slip mats, accessories. It's a cool little shop that's been here, uh, at least as long as I've been here, and not a lot of people know about the Beat Lab, but uh, there it is. Looks like they got more records in there too, so if you really think about it, and we'll look at some of the street art as we're going by, it's not easy to find neighborhoods with record stores anymore, let's face it. I mean, you got, you know, most neighborhoods, you would never even see anything remotely resembling a record store anymore. All the chains are gone. There's no more Tower Records, you know. So this is maybe one of the few places, if you are looking for vinyl, where you would find it. Uh, a lot of the stores have converted over to being mostly vinyl now, which, of course, in years past, you would see a lot of CDs on the shelves, but the CD shelves have gotten smaller and the uh, new vinyl shelves, or even the used vinyl shelves, have, you know, grown in size, and uh, that just reflects the trend of the people buying records today, who uh, obviously prefer to buy their music on vinyl. It kind of makes sense, because now there are no CD players in cars, except for mine, because I just installed one, but uh, since you can't play your music in a car, it really doesn't matter whether it's on CD or on vinyl, you're still gonna be stuck with the, you know, just listening to it at home in the privacy of your own dwelling. And many records today, maybe even most records, come with download codes. So you can still download and get the files and put them on a thumb drive, enjoy them in your vehicle, and still have the physical media of the record at home. So it's probably six in one, half a dozen in the other, I think. CD and record sales are about even at this point. Both are a pretty low, pathetic number, but even nonetheless. Uh, this is the junk man's daughter here. And it looks like they've got a lot of uh, junk, a lot of pottery and plants. And I'm not really sure what's inside there. Uh, haven't been in a while. Uh, there's your uh, Beat Lab ad right there telling you to go around the back to see that cool little shop that I just showed you. Hey, hey, yeah, who knows, just entertaining myself. Uh, the package store, another popular point of Little Five Points. And uh, we'll keep on moving. Across the street here, I think, that's a sneaker store that people are lining up at. And somewhere over there, we actually filmed an episode of Sneaker Shopping for YouTube. don't remember who that episode is with because I've done a bunch of them, but uh, one of the ones we did was right on down there. All right, coming back up here, Moreland Drive. Back up and we're gonna circle back around by Criminal Records and under the trees here. And that, will be our little tour of Little Five Points. Ooh, my goodness. Oh, sorry, got distracted. Moving along. There's some uh, shoes up on a wire, which they always used to say was the sign of a drug dealer's location, a place where you could buy and sell drugs. And, you know, in Little Five Points, that probably covers this whole area. So I don't think any shoes hanging up in this place, but uh, it's still fun to come down here. And like I said, especially if you're looking for vinyl, CDs, or whatever, it's going to be one of the few places in Atlanta where you will have multiple locations 
to buy your music. All right, up along here, the Hudson Grill, a little further up on uh, Moreland. This is a nice restaurant. I've been there before, a couple times, actually. And uh, here's a cut through here. Maybe this was the cut through that was little five points. Anyway, we're gonna pass right by, let's see, Crystal Blue, which is a no phone zone. All right. The pot shop, well, pot is not currently legal in Georgia, but uh, maybe they're, you know, getting getting ahead of the curve here. Uh, we got the uh, Bang On t-shirts, Bang On custom t-shirts. Custom t-shirts were big in the 70s. Uh, Lucha Libre masks, apparently in this store. In case you want to do a little bit of Mexican wrestling and pop one of those on. This is a popular hangout here for people normally, although it's 90 degrees, so everyone's probably inside the air conditioning. Southern Star Tattoo Parlor. I'm gonna pass today, but hey, maybe in the future. Here is Criminal Records, probably my favorite record store in the Atlanta area. And like I said, they've really converted over to be mostly vinyl at this point. Uh, used to be, they would have a huge CD selection, but not so much anymore. We got an orange business, we got a green business, Govinda's Cafe. All right, and a Thai bar. Rainy Day Revival. So lots of vintage clothing stores, that sort of a thing down here. New age stores, new wave stores. All right, hey, well, I'm back. Um, we had some ZZ Top playing there, and I don't want this video to be flagged, so I had to walk by there and do a little jump cut here. Sorry about that. Uh, what I was saying was this area really reminds me of Melrose in Los Angeles. In the 90s, the same kind of stores, a lot of music stores, a lot of fashion stores. I hear Melrose is not the place to go these days. A lot of smash and grab crime, crazy stuff that's happening in our world today. But uh, that's what it kind of reminds me of down here. There's a, another mural across the street here. I'll point at that. And up we go again as we finish our tour of a little five points on the east side of Atlanta. You're not too far from the airport here. And once again, if you're looking to park, here's your parking lot right here next to Arden's Garden. I may get a drink there myself. It's 90 degrees out here. Ain't no joke. All right. Thank you so much again for coming along with me on this almost uninterrupted trip. I'm going to have to cut out this easy top music, but uh, got pretty close. I'm just trying to roll these things through and uh, take you on a little walk around the neighborhood because, like I said, these neighborhoods change pretty quickly. And in a few years, well, who knows what will be, what'll be here. But uh, for now, this is how it looks. This is what you got. Never be afraid to make good noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble, of course. The words of John Lewis. And we'll close on that. Thank you for coming out and hanging out with me today. We'll see you soon.